Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for the OPTC video. And in today's video, it is day two of the grandest party of them all. Season 14 is upon us. And in today's video, does anyone remember when we used to think that this guy was good? Anyone remember? Like, uh, season one, I believe, back when Grand Party first dropped. 14 seasons ago, this particular unit was one of the first units to get Grand Party stats. So in today's video, we're taking K-Dad, yes. K-Dad, Kindermon, Dendro, Sur Chiridoji, and Dog Song into the grandest party of them all and seeing what they can do if they can rumble in the jungle with the rest of them. The answer is already no, but we're gonna see what they can do to the best of their ability. As always, make sure when you finish your matches for the day, head over to your team setup, make sure to edit your leader, Change it to a PvP rare recruit or someone that doesn't have a burst, namely not gear 5. Help the homies out and help everyone get 15 wins. Enjoy this kind of content. If you like the big time stuff, hit that big red subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the fun. With that said, let's dive in to Grand Party Day 2. All right, all right, all right. Don't get too saucy at me. We're going to take on a gear 5, mainly because it's very early days. We can see what's in front of us, and as you can see... Dex is kind of running around a lot. Plus, strength is just so disgustingly good right now. And Psy is incredibly nerfed that I thought, hey, let's let's see what we can do, right? Let's just, let's see what KDAD has in store. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that, did they increase KDAD's charges? I was always under the impression that KDAD only had one charge. But look. That might just be me. Now, ideally with KDAD, they boost Psy, Strength, and Slashes. Ideally, you want to run a Psy team. Ideally, you want to have Odin somewhere. Whether it be Odin and Toki, whether it be uh, Psy Odin, or whether it be this Strength Odin you see on this team, that's where you want to actually utilize the Burst ability. Now, ideally for my team, I want to get my Burst ready at some time in this, this fight and actually use it. Because if you have an Odin on the team, it actually does a lot of extra stuff. What it does, I read it, I can't remember it already, it was early this morning, it's now like almost 5pm and I've literally already forgotten, so yeah. We have Kaku in the front lines, Kaku in the front lines when you're versing any dex team is basically an automatic W, uh, it just, it's just the way it is. Uh, Kada just need to do attacks and then that way you actually build up your charge. Dalton's actually going to hit us fairly hard, I, I need that, I need that white beard uh, Roger effect to kick in. Okay, Luffy's going to ch not charge anyone because we haven't done that much damage. We're going to kill two units, but Luffy's going to revive one of them, which is going to be the Dalton unit. And now Dofi comes in, and Dofi is just a smidge of a problem. But I have faith we have Kaku. Remember, we have Kaku. Kaku is the key to taking down the Dex team. We don't want to take too much damage here, because the more damage we take, the more the, the charge gets for Gear 5. Now that that's happened, we have an Odin on our team. So let's bink this burst. Let's see what it can do. Wow, it killed one unit and gave me some cooldown. That was fun. Um, yeah, remember remember thinking that this unit was good? And now we have, like, gear 5 that can literally hit everyone through defense and literally kill everyone through defense. So, it's kind of a kind of a bummer, right? But look, if you see Dex at the front and you have Kaku on a slasher strength team, you can do things. You can do things. And lucky for us, strength is actually so good right now. Um, they're not boosted under the rule sets. They have been. Powerhouse have been too. But with Kobe and with the new Gear 5 Film Red unit and then like Kaido like getting significantly buffed thanks to these characters, um, you can do some really fun stuff like that. Now, downside. Downside to this is we don't have an Odin on this team, which means if we actually get the burst, it's just going to do that pathetic one-shot damage that we saw. But, but, strength are really good, remember? Strength are really good. There is a Wano Law, though, and I have a lot of powerhouse units on this team. Namely, two of them. By a lot, I mean less than half of my team. So, uh, let's sort of, let's just, let's just, let's just let it cook, you know, let it cook. Psy is just getting drastically nerfed at the moment, but even with these drastic nerfs that I keep talking about, they still have 10 HP, 16 defense. They should have a lot more, but look, it's just the way it is. Now, if the Luffy burst goes, we are in for a serious problem. However, we have Free Spirit at the back end, and Free Spirit are very, very good. Free Spirit are arguably the best team in the game. Strength, arguably the next best team, if not better. If you want to let me know in the comment section below which one you like more. Do you like Strength, or do you like 
Free spirit. Let me know. Let your voice be heard. Now let's see what let's see what Kobe does here. Kobe with some haste on Kaido or Luffy, please. Okay, Kaido. Okay, Kaido. Like that would have would have liked you to hit just more than just Gear Five. That would have been fantastic. Gear Five is just out here. He's just out here like. I am a one-man wrecking ball, and I'm just going to take all of your damage. Now, my gear 5 is going to do the same thing, and he's immune to half stats. So, screw you, Yamato. Get out of my game. Luffy, when Luffy goes, it's game over. Bink, bink, bink. See you later. Wait, can we get our charge to do our one little pathetic hit swipey thing? Okay, Dad. Come on, man. Show me what you got. Man, strength is, strength is so good. I was not a strength believer, by the way. So shout out to Itachi and Porky. Mainly Itachi. He's a big strength advocate. Oh, yes. I can do my little one swipey thingy. Yes. Um, he's a big strength advocate. He gave me a lot of help with the strength team. And um, it's just doing absolute work. Even without being buffed. Obviously, Kdad is buffing strength. That's always nice. Um, but we've only got one slasher on the team. like So works really, really well. Kdad taking down Gear 5 in 2023. Pfft. Never thought I would see the day. But let's move on to the second fight. Oh, we found another one. We found another one. Dex again. Let's go. Kaku, show us what you can do, brother. So, we're taking on Gear 5 again. Now, remember, like, don't take this as... Go, oh, K-Dex beating Gear 5. What? No, it's, it's nothing like that at all. It's the fact that I can see that there's a Dex team. I can run my Slasher team first, which has a Dex... A severe Dex nerfer, by the way, on the front lines. And just go from there. The last last day of Grand Party, like, you can't see this stuff. You don't know it's coming. I mean, I think you can for, like, the 13th fight. Um, but other than that, like, it's it's nothing to really get your knickers in and not over. So, with Dex in the front, Dex, I, like I said, I, I think I said it yesterday in yesterday's video. Dex have definitely hit a pinnacle point where they're just... It's not that they're bad, it's just that strength is so good that they're completely overshadowed. Um... Big Mom was a great addition to Dex, and, like, Dofi is just so good with, like, the Driven stuff, but I think they should really hone in on, like, Dex Driven. Uh, kind of like what they've done with Quick and, like, Quick Powerhouse. Goodbye, Blackbeard. Love to see that. That's a lot of damage that you're throwing out there, K-Dad. Like, that's a lot of damage, bro. Blackbeard, I don't know if Blackbeard will be ready in time. The, the cooldown reduction, like, nerfing that Kaku gives is just disgusting when it comes to taking on, um, Dex. But like I was saying, Dex have definitely seen their time in the sun. It's not that they're bad, it's just that nowadays, like, strength is so good, quick driven is just fantastic, and honestly, Dex, they just need a little bit of help. And so does, um, so does Int, actually. Int, Int definitely needs a little bit of help now, too. Int was never really a team, it was always, like, Int powerhouse or Int driven. Man, that's a lot of damage, Dalton, you just need to chill, brother. Um, it was always just, like, a combination of the two. Um, Pell, don't. I just wanted to do my little swipey thing. Ow. Okay, you had to you had to hit Cracker, didn't you? I mean, Cracker dying means we're going to take a lot less damage from Yamato. Okay. I just don't want to... Okay, that's a, that's a burst. Our burst is going to go first, though. If the Gear 5 burst procs, we're in for a really, really bad time. Now, ideally, what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm actually going to use my Free Spirit Team second and save Strength for the back end. Uh, unless they go crazy with their burst. Oh, okay, okay, okay. AI sometimes AI sometimes do this thing where they just use their burst willy-nilly. Um, they're like, I can save the fight. Yeah, go give five. And it just like, it does stuff. Just doesn't win them the fight like I'm talking about, you know? So we're going to skip the rest of this. Obviously, we, we've got this in the bag. You love to see that. K-Dad coming through right now. And like I said, we, we know what's in front of us. So we can do this kind of stuff. Which is fun. Which is cool. The first couple days of Grand Party are always very, very fun. So, let's go. We'll take on the Psy team once again. As you guys saw, strength against Psy. It's just very good. Even with one Allure in the lineup, it's just still very, very good. Um, look at that. 8 HP reduction, 5 CD reduction, and 5 defense reduction. Now, on top of all of that, they still have 1 CD... 6 speed, 12 defense, like 4 CD, sorry, 12 defense, and 10 HP. So, the side team, like, the side team is just still so good, even with all these disgusting nerfs. But they, they definitely went heavy, 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 heavy on the nerfs this time around. Like, the last couple seasons we've seen, like, slashes have been nerfed. They're trying to stop Roger, all this kind of stuff. Um, but it just hasn't worked. And I'm not going to say they're doing this to try and stop Gear 5, because... What Gear 5 does isn't really got to do with the side team itself. 
it's purely got to do with Gear 5 Burst. Gear, like, I think the the nerfing would affect Gear 5's attack stat, if I if I believe correct. Um, I don't know if I am correct, so please let me know in the comment section below. Kobe getting binded there is actually big for them. Like, really, really big. However, not binding Luffy means it's sayonara, senorita. Goodbye. God, Luffy does so much damage. This, like, this Luffy does so much damage too, but... Okay, that hurt. Ow. Oh, we're gonna take... We're actually gonna take the burst and lose. Yeah, right. Cool. Yeah, fun. But that's okay. We have free spirit at the back end. And we have a burst in hand. I could put a um, an Odin on the team. I was going to say, Sanji, you don't do bits, do you? I mean, they're, they're gear 5 still alive, so... The action bind to Kobe was actually the key there. Because if Kobe went, he would have given everyone haste. Uh, which would have gone before the damage dealt from, I believe it was Odin. With that damage dealt, it would have allowed us to sort of just take it out. But look, into the back end. Um, against... Uh, a very, very powerful free spirit team. Gear 5 is going to get drastically nerfed because they're running Apu, Konus, and you Rogue in a season where Sai is getting destroyed already is kind of mind-boggling to me. But, hey, I am not going to criticize. I'm, I'm here to observe and I'm here to have fun. I'm not here to be an asshole. Um, just, why in? I just don't get it. I don't get it. I, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Now, I have been running Otama a lot with Nami Karina. No, uh, Otama goes so ridiculously fast in Grand Party, like it's like it's actually wild. And with the AOI, if you run the team second and then you cop the burst, then you're just in like a really good spot to just heal back. Um, you can do some fun, fun, cheeky stuff there. Um, special bind, that does not work. Okay, thank you for that. Now, they're going very fast, but now they're going to lose all of their charge. Top music are going down, it's so funny. Your rogue is, means that Gear 5 is going to be able to see another day. And, um... We don't do all that much damage, though. We just need to start building up some, some Zoro counters and stuff like that, I think. Once we get some, some Zoro counters going and whatnot, I think we'll be in a really good spot. Downside to this Free Spirit Team 2 is, by the way, it doesn't have all that much damage output off rip. Gear 5 can hit very, very hard. Don't get me wrong. And I am waiting for Gear 5. Okay, that's going to sort of be annoying. Um, I am waiting for Gear 5 to go before I use my burst. Oh, that's so funny. No more, no, no more, uh, spewing for you. Oh, spewing. Are you gonna hit everyone, bro? Okay, you're gonna hit a good chunk of people. And now I'm gonna use this, because ideally, I don't know, actually, if K-Dad hits a particular unit. Top music is dead. Yeah, cool. I was like, I don't know if it hits a particular unit, but, like, I do want to try and hit something and kill it. Just like that. That was fun. So, that's always fun. Now, if this int team goes, like, crazy wazoo on me, um, and I was just making fun of it at the start... Remember I said I'm here to have fun and observe. I'm not here to be an asshole. Remember I did state that. Someone can quote me in the comment section. Man, we got half stats on like everyone now, bro. That's not fun. Otama is not going to heal up very much. Gear 5 is definitely going to need it. Otama's going to get a special wonder. Watch this. Oh, she keeps trying to hit Gear 5. It's funny. Oh, hang on. Pooh's not going to hit. If, if we win this on having more members because Nami Karina just stops them from using their special over and over and over again, that's going to be so funny. I would love you to hit Zoro and then Zoro's counters to just start going absolutely berserk. Zoro has the ability to just destroy teams with his counters. Like, like absolutely destroy teams. Um, however, there we go. There's a death. You love to see that. Nami Karina aren't going to be ready to go, which kind of sucks. Um, so now we are going to take... We're going to take that Apu special, I believe. Unless Apu just died. No, Moria died. Yeah, we're going to take that Apu special. We're going to take that. Your rogue special too. Gear 5, you're in for a world of hurt, son. Tank it. Show us why you're the best PvP and best unit in the game. Tank it. Yeah, he tanked it. What a legend. And then Otama just heals it back up. <laughs> And then Shiki just goes flying off the screen thanks to those Zoro counters. But like, this is what Free Spirit can do, man. Even if they don't have the damage output, they'll just put put you on the back burner to the point where you just literally can't do damage. The team eventually freaks out. I know it's an AI and it doesn't do that anyway, but it just freaks out to the point where it's like, ah, I don't know what to do. And then it just starts attacking Zoro and Zoro just starts doing this. It's like 22,000 counters. So at the end of the day, we didn't kill the team, but we still win. So you'll love to see that. Beautiful stuff. Uh, let's move on to the final fight. K-Dad's doing... 
pretty good stuff at the moment. Not great stuff, just good stuff. Alright, so it turns out we're fighting gear fives all day. Um, this particular build is a striker build up the front, and then there's a dex fight. Um, not as easy as running dex up the front, because strikers are going to build the burst very, very quickly. But the idea here is that free spirit are just, they're so tanky that they can easily tank a burst, and then if a time is still alive, or time can heal me back up, and we're going to be in a good spot there. On top of that, Roger Whitebeard killing two units every turn, or every time they use a special, isn't that effective on Free Spirit, because Free Spirit have Gear 5 Revive and Zora Revive. So if he hits any of those units and they die, they literally just come back. Um, so that's always fun. Uh, if Psy weren't super nerfed, I would probably run um, a 5-man... Or six man free spirit team and have uh Psy Odin on the team, and then that way we can get access to the cooldown reduction that K Dad can provide. However, like free spirits, they don't really need that cooldown reduction, they're not really here for that. Okay, see there, right there, they hit both Zoro and they hit Luffy. Basically, what that means is yes, they got rid of our revive, however, that wipe it Roger shot now becomes a lot less effective because they haven't broken any of the pieces of our puzzle. Now, they have a lot of defense, as I can clearly see there. Um, but Nami Karina stopping Kid is great because that not ideal. We can heal Zoro back up. Now I need Gear 5 to hit everyone here. Nice. Kill someone would be great. Roger Whitebeard there is nice. But um, problem, we have Jack ready to go. We have fixed damage from Tesoro and we have Sasaki there. Plus they already have a burst because Roger Whitebeard is a menace. Um, so I would love Nami Karina. Okay, Roger Whitebeard died to Zoro's counters, so that's already a good sign. However, the enemy has their burst ready to go, so I would like them to not use their burst now. That would be ideal. Otama stopping kid is so good. Uh, I need Otama to heal me back up before they just think about using their burst. Jack doing a HP cut and then a burst from gear 5 is probably one of the scariest situations possible, like, no to man. Um... Otama, 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 Otama. Yes, nice. Okay, Otama heals. Now, if we take a burst, it's not that scary. But I am going to do this because I do want to start building this back up again. And hopefully... Okay, we kill Sasaki. So hopefully we kill... Okay, Kid died from Zoro anyway, so it's fine. I'll say hopefully we kill something like Kid. Because Kid is just a monster damage dealer. Like a disgusting monster damage dealer. The only other scary parts here are... Um, obviously, that Jack HP cut, which is literally coming once again. Man, Jack just keeps going. Man. He just... Just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. Just relax, Jack. Go back to living under the water. Under the sea, baby. Under the sea. Under the sea. Okay. If a gear 5 burst comes now, it would kind of be the best time, I guess. But I think the timeout is still scary on us. Sanji, I would love for you to just kill three units here. Hit Smoker once, please. I think you hit the units with the highest HP, don't you? Ugh. Okay, Zora's counters are literally winning us this fight. And obviously, if you use the burst, I know, like, the AI system, it's the AI system. Um, now the burst is coming, sweet. Okay, I just need, like, one unit to tank this. Okay, beautiful, we've won. We'll, we're gonna win this fight on, um, unit... Oh, see, if Jack went and that burst went, that would have been scary! Like, scary! That's fine. Oh, hang on. I might have spoke too soon. No. Uh... No, we're fine. Six to three, we win. Man, we're winning on timeouts, man. This is this is good stuff. This is content, baby. Content. All right, we take the first win. Now we move on to the Kaku Demolition Derby that is the Strength Slasher team, as we like to call it, I believe. Um, Odin, Kaku, Kdad. Nice and strengthy. Um, and then I just run Int Bench, which I probably should run like Sasaki and Santa Sonia and stuff. But hey, we're here. Oh, actually, no, I have Saki on the strength team. Yeah. Hmm. That makes more sense. Never mind. Ignore me. I'm a spoon. You guys already knew that, right? You guys already knew that. Absolutely, you already knew that. Now, upside here is we have an Odin on the team. We just have to deal some damage, and then we can get 50% cooldown reduction and a whole bunch of damage. So I'm going to wait for everyone to use their specials, even though, like, everyone is pretty far away by the look of it. I'm going to do this. Bink out two units. Dofi gets a revive. Why is Kaku so fast, man? Kaku's just... He's going crazy. Kaku's... A level in rank 5, Kaku is a definite upgrade 
if you have posters, whenever you see a Dex team, I can just chuck Kaku on the team and you just you're, you're moving. The amount of cooldown. Redu oh, okay, that's not good. Don't hit Cracker. I was say, just don't hit anyone but Cracker. Okay, yeah, honestly, I don't even care about Cracker special. Hit Luffy. Kill Luffy for me. Or oh, actually, kill Dofi. Kill Dofi. Kill Dofi. Okay, hit, kill Pell then. That's that's also fine. I am actually terrified that they're going to get the Gear 5 burst somehow. Odin, please! That's not... Okay, it's fine. We're fine. We win. Okay, didn't hit Dofi. Let me go. Not hitting Dofi is always such a scary time because then he does that, but we tanked it, so it's fine. All right, beautiful. Good stuff. Well, like I said, you let me guys, you guys let me know in the comment section below. Okay, this fight's still going. If you guys remember when KDAD was good, if you think this moment right here is the best you've ever seen from KDAD, let me know down below because honestly, it's the best I've ever seen from KDAD. And dude's been out for 14 seasons. I don't think anyone's used him since season one. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to belt the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff. Make sure, as always, just like I said at the start of the video, make sure once you've done your runs to head into your setup, select edit leader and put up a pirate festival rare recruit to help out your homies. Most importantly though, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. Don't the like button, hit the subscribe button, like I said. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on more Grand Party fun. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.